Yeah, Blade Ball is adding gems. They're changing the lobby. They're adding clans. They're adding a lot of things to the game. So let's talk about some of these. So if you guys haven't watched my previous video, I have talked about the clans. And before that, I've talked about new modes and other things that are happening in the update. This will not be announced in these videos, the ones I talked about in that. Today, we're going to be talking about one of the coolest things I have seen, and it is Gem League. Before I tell you guys the Gem League, we are aiming for 10k subs by the end of the year. So make sure you guys subscribe and a random subscriber will be getting this shield right here so you just gotta comment and join my discord and i will announce the winner there so come on guys hit that subscribe button let's start off with the general things such as the new blade ball lob now blade ball has announced something to testers that they're cooking up an idea on so there's four options let's read this out by cons we're thinking about adding some addition to the lobby which option do you like best one small target training area an easy normal hard target that would not affect other users at, at all that you could clash with while it's difficult to increase it you can decide between one or two targets the actual area would be smaller than the lobby it just be a small area all local if a player goes into the area in the lobby they disappear from the other person's screen so basically they're gonna have like a circle or something here and once you go in you can go like to a mini training area without leaving the game you could clash against a target and just like train while you wait for the game so you don't have to just wait in the lobby until the game ends bleep as players walk the tiles behind them would disappear for a certain amount of seconds you can step around tiles to eliminate other players within the split mode there are no rounds just a free for all of all people walking around that anyone could walk in this area at any point so basically they're just gonna add a split area into the game where you can just join and play with other players i don't really like that idea so much it just makes this game turn into kind of like a mini game obbies easy normal hard obbies that would be ninja like obbies in where you would have to use normal jumps and double jumps to complete obbies okay so this is a normal jump guy and this is a double jump you could use these to complete obbies probably that's gonna pertain off the thing so you could go like up jump jump and the fourth option at all time now if we're really thinking about this the only thing i like is the small target training area this gives us a way to train our thing without leaving a match and while we wait so it just highlights the main point of this game which is blade ball it doesn't differentiate like adding obbies sleep and stuff like that so if i had to vote i'm voting one not all of them the rest would just make the game kind of weird. now let's go to the other point the gem now if you look at the, the image i'm adding to the screen right now as you can see there's time reward that's going to be the next playtime thing and if you don't know what playtime is it's basically this thing right here see sword crate 100 coins one wheel spin 150 coins one wheel spin and premium explosion crate this is what it is they just changed the ui to make it look better but that's not the main point as you see there's times 2.3 m 2.3 m gems basically so what is this is this just a random thing they added as a placeholder or is it a new currency that they're gonna add just like i said in the night market that i announced in my previous video the night market gems you can use these gems to get skins stuff like that in the game that's kind of cool well anyways guys thank you for watching i'll see you guys in the next video subscribe if you're new